talking. What? My name is Derek, this and I'm joined, is... as always, by Scott and Bob. Say hi. Hey, hey, Bob. what's up, Derek? I'm feel, doing great. I feel like this I think is one today of those... we should talk about. I think today we should talk about back uh, the end of summer because we talked about back to school on on Monday. You've already <laughs> I'm just, failed miserably. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. kidding around. I'm kidding around, Scott. How's it going? Good. I'm starting to see a trend. You guys keep trying to. The one thing I'm halfway good at, you keep trying to steal from me. I don't think there's any trends going on. I think it just it happens that way sometimes. No, they don't know. We we planned it. We well, I think you're halfway good at the intro. I'm freaking amazing at the intro. You, you know said what? Halfway you're, decent. You know Do, what you're not good at? What? Talking about GameflyOffer.com slash HWT. Boom! Keep talking Did I say about it. it. Right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> You That's did. like a win for me. You know how hard that was to concentrate on that? Dude, dude, hey, we're... talk about this because you're an actual video gamer. Like, you're a real, like, you could have been professional. Let's be real. I don't know about all that. I did have a long span of Black Ops and all those other kind of games and, and things like that. What was your that, KDR? Uh, what was your KDR? Be real. You know you know what it was. What was it? No, I don't. I don't remember now. I mean, I had a lot of 30 and 0 free for all, you see, know, wins and I, mean, I had all kinds of stuff. Dude. But the, the thing that was not around back when I gamed all the time was was Gamefly. It wasn't around. I wasn't able to to sign up for a free 30 day offer and be able to get a game shipped to my door. And then when I'm done with that game, I just send it back. That did not exist, but it does now. So if you guys go to gameflyoffer.com slash HWT. Yes. You could get those games, dude. So Derek KDR is kill death ratio. So okay. he would kill. So basically, I was never a one to one. So like, if I killed somebody, then I died. That would be a one to one. Okay, that would be like a KDR of one. So one one point zero zero. I never have been able to get to one death for each kill, and I'm guaranteeing you, Bob's been probably that or more. I was probably about three to one ratio. The fact that he had I, a thirty and really, zero on a free for all, you know what you're doing. I wonder if deal. you're. I can't do it now though. Right. I guarantee. Because the but older you get, Ops, your reflexes are not the same. You play no. these kids on these games, and they're in their kids. Okay, if you have your headset on, on one of these games now, you will feel like society has literally gone straight into the toilet. It's when you hear these little kids, <laughs> the smack that they talk and the words that they use. It's like, where are your parents? I know. I <laughs> said that when we would play Call of Duty, I would play with a bunch of these older guys. And some of them were still pretty good. I think you can do it while you're still in your 30s. You could still, your reflexes are still good enough. When I started really playing, I was almost, I was probably right around 40. And uh, I... <laughs> I did not have the reflexes that these guys had or the vision. That's part of it. I don't have good vision. And so these these kids, though, you just go, I would just go, how is this even possible? How did he do that? They're flipping around in the air and doing 360s and shooting well, it's, you. It's a lot different nowadays than it was back even five years ago. Yeah. But the kids, the the language, if you have yep. never done that and you're like, hey, I think I'm going to be a gamer and you flip on that headset and you hear people, you will literally just go, this can't be real life. So it's here's, disturbing. Here, cue the music. Boom, dun, dun. Exactly. Except for parents, I'm laughing you need, about parents, it. Parents, you need to pay attention to what your kids are doing. No kidding. You need to listen to their language and watch oh, what video God. games they're playing and who they're talking to. It's very important. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I said... There are Multiple yeah. times. Sorry, Derek. I just have to say this, and then you say this. I multiple times would just be when we were playing. I would just go, "Where are your parents?" And they would be like, <laughs> "F you, old man." And you're just like, "Oh my gosh!" That I'm but cleaning are, it up. Yeah. I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> it was other, way worse than what I said. Go ahead, Derek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's other useful diversions. Like you could go on to uh, Coyote Country Radio, listen <laughs> to some good Texas country music. Oh my God. Uh, I would. Yeah. You what know, a transition. Goonie is going to be very impressed with that transition. Well, of course. He taught me everything I know about segues and transitions. And you guys are teaching me about ratios and unsupervised KDRs, children. Yes. And the, so, so when the are collapse you gonna, of culture. 
So when are you going to put to use all that stuff that Goonie taught you? Everything Goonie that, taught that's you, what I'm we're still waiting, waiting for you to use it. Yeah, I, I, that that was it. That was the time. <laughs> that was it. Was a transition. Thanks, we are for... <laughs> <laughs> we are on coyotecountryradio.com. dot com. Goonie, thank you so much, man. It's so cool. I I love that we're just on this radio station in Texas, and there's all these Texans who are going. Those other two, I don't know about, but this Derek fella, I love him. Right? I d- I, I doubt, and I don't know if if I would just pigeonhole. Uh, the residents of Borden County with that exact accent. You know, do you think I know how to do a Texas accent? I don't. I mean, we we have not been to Borden County, but we will. We need to make a, vi- a trip down there. And but go doesn't hang out Borden with County me. sound like some place you're supposed to be? Like Borden County, doesn't that sound like it should be that? Well, it's named after Gail Borden, the guy who invented like pasteurized milk or something. So like it that. is Borden. I was going to say, is it Borden yeah. milk? Yeah, it's like wow. after that guy, like. His name was Gail Borden. The, the cap, uh, the county seat of Borden County, is a city called Gail. I'm wow. always, I'm always thrown when someone's named Gail, whether it's a man or a woman. I don't know why. Yeah, I know, I know lots of uh, you know a lot of Gales. Solid I know, name. I know some Gales. I don't. It's just they, something about the name. Just, it's just every time I hear someone say, "Hey, Gail," I'm like that. Just I was really into Gales when I was a young teenager. Really. What are gales? Girls. Oh, I get it. Oh, man. Gales. That was a gales. reach. Gales. Reach. I, t- I tried. I He's tried. He's reaching. He was really good at video games, but that was a tough one. All right. So today we're going to talk about, we hate, to, this is almost like we're going to bum people out. We're going to talk about the end of summer because it's coming. We're, we're getting close. It's gonna. Yeah. It's technically in September. What is the actual date? It's like September 21st or something like that. September 22nd. September 22nd. I looked this up yesterday. Actually. Nice. A little show <laughs> prep. I love it. So no, September... it wasn't a show prep. I was correcting my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. She's little just like, no, prep. it's All this right. day. And you're like, I will show you. It is September 22nd. Is that how it went down? Well, it was. I was talking about I was making a, a refreshing drink with a little bit of uh, sparkling water and gin and i told her i was like this is great for these hot summer nights and she was telling me summer's over in a couple of weeks and i was like no it's in a month from now she should have said a few weeks is that two no isn't couples uh, more a a, a couple is two a few is three yeah that's it so you can only do it for three weeks you can say it's a few weeks away that's three weeks away Yes, because this is an actual. Here's the thing. Anybody who's married knows exactly what we're talking about right now. These are the kinds of silly discussions that happen. I'll be like, oh, it's 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 a few weeks away. She's like three. I go, no, a few like two. She's like, that's a couple. And I go, (laughs) I go, yeah, technically, but you could still say few. And she's like, no, you can't. I said, yes, I can. I'll say few for as long as I want. Cheryl, I'm on your side. It's a couple is two, a few is three. Correct. It, but it's several only three? Is four or more. So if you something's a month away, you have to say it's several weeks away? Yeah. Or a month. Yeah. You could just say it's a month away. Yeah. <sighs> this is exasperating. Anyway. But that's, that's the law. <laughs> yeah, right. Like anybody cares about the law anymore. Oh, Scott got on. Let's talk politics. All right. So end of summer, uh, Labor Day. I always think of that as end of summer, technically, because I grew up in the Midwest. And really, Bob's going to Bob is really going to be bummed at the more we talk about this, because what, like October? Is that when you start to really that's when you're just like, dang it. Pretty much. Halloween is typically in the 40s. Yep. Maybe 50s if we get lucky. If there's a little global warming going, you're good. Yeah. Otherwise, it's the nighttime that gets you. First of all. It's the daylight, the well, lack yeah, we, of daylight. We've gone seventy plus days without seeing the sun. Oh it's all gosh. gray and just nasty. Um, it's uh, it's not just the cold at night. I mean, it's cold during the day too. And and according to the Farmers Almanac, they're talking negative ten to negative twenty degrees uh, in in January and February for just the regular temperature without the wind chill. Oh my so goodness. we're really looking to a very, very bad Derek, uh, winter your, this year. What's your overnight low going to be in West Texas? 
When? When, when, when? In January when? and February. What's the worst? Tell us the coldest it really gets on on a regular basis. Not like, on oh, average? one day it was like 32 degrees. Like, what's the average when it's really cold? What's the coldest it gets? When it's the coldest, we'll, we'll probably get down into the 20s. Yeah. For, oh. Sometimes sometimes we, we don't know, but we had, you know. Is that a daytime or like overnight? Overnight. Okay, so during the, the day, during the day during in the, West Texas, what's the coldest it really gets on a regular basis, not just one day? On the average basis, we'll, we'll be in the 40s or 50s yeah. for the high. Yeah. Usually the like 50 look, degrees look Bob, in wintertime. Look at Bob just like, oh, I want to kill you. Cause that's, Bob, why I got, that's why I want to move. Yeah. That's why I, I hate cold weather. Ultimately, that's what drove me out of living in the Midwest. I just, yep. I, when we lived in Ohio, just like you were saying, there was a stretch from like December through February. And I literally was just like, I wasn't suicidal because that's not funny. But I was just like, I can't take this anymore because the sun never came out. It yep. was never out. And if it did, it was just for mere moments, and then the clouds came back. And it wasn't even, like, particularly snowy or anything like that, but it was just... That's the thing I do hate in wintertime. If you're going to live somewhere cold, I'd rather that it just snowed like crazy, quite honestly. Because at least then there's, like, white stuff on the ground. It looks better. I don't know. It's, when you just have gray or yellow yes. dead grass yep. all over the place, you it just makes you feel miserable. everywhere. You're just like, my life is sucking so I, out of me. So I think what finally put the nail in the coffin for me was the fact that um, what I was doing for my job at that time. So for 12 years, I worked the night shift. Oh, gosh. And my job was basically like a garbage man in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. um, except we were pick, picking up used cooking oil. Mm, um, so you'd friends. be out of the truck 10 to 10 minutes to a half hour at a time. Sucking and you've got to pick up, up, you've got to pick up like 30, 30 stops a night or something like that. And there were, there were several nights where the regular temperature was negative 20 degrees with the wind chill. It was negative 60 and we're out there <laughs> working. Doug's face. <laughs> He's never, ex oh, you lived in Alaska. I forget. I have. I've lived, I've lived in Alaska and Montana, so I have experienced Super frigid temperatures. Yes, I have. It's a horrible, horrible thing. I, I'm amazed that as many... If it weren't for the industrial age, I don't think that many people would live up there. I mean, yeah. the, the whole reason that everybody lives in the Midwest is because the industry was so huge. I mean, everything... Detroit basically just spread out over that whole area, and they made cars, and they made stuff, and... So there's so many people there and I just always go when somebody's like I hate the winter I go you know you can move we got these really warm places that you can go to yeah but uh, I have my family up here it's a family schmamly well see I'm to the point now where it's like my, my parents are going to be traveling for the rest of their lives pretty soon so they'll wind up being in Florida and, and a lot of the southern warmer climates. Of course. Um, my brothers are, are adults, so I don't have to stick around for them. Yeah. I, I don't see them. And uh, I one brother to... lives two hours from me. The other one lives 90 minutes from me or uh, 60 minutes from me. So it's like I don't see them all the time anyway. So I got to do what's right for my family and get my children out of the cold. Yeah. Well, I, I do want to make this little because last Way back when we first started the show, I made some comment joking around family schmamly or something, and my brother was like, heard you don't like us. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you <laughs> kidding me? I love my family. I talk to them every chance I get, and they're welcome to visit me in the warm, sunny state of South Carolina anytime they his, want. He loves his schmamly. I do love my schmamly. And Scott talks about his brother George all the time. Glenn. His, his my name is not any of those. David. Bill, you're almost there. Keep going. Brad. He's got a name that your child is named. So there you go. Matt. Matthew. You. Yeah. Okay. Got to get. Yeah. That. He talks about his brother, Matthew, all the time. Get that few on there. <laughs> <clears throat> I just love this discrepancy between the weather and Illinois and Texas, because you're talking about it's already freezing in in October. We don't even begin to get cold, cool off until october like it's still yeah. full blaze in summertime in september into october i've been swimming on october 1st 
we wow. have like I think basically what happens here is in South Carolina it's and we're not as hot as Texas for sure it's way more humid I bet no you guys are pretty humid too though aren't you or no in the in the south and the southeast although around here it's been getting a little sticky yeah especially at night are you guys but, usually a dry heat out there in west yeah, texas okay yeah absolutely so we can tolerate the the 105 degree fahrenheit i can tolerate that when yeah. when the hum, when the humidity's down but when when, the humidity when that humidity kicks cranks in, up oof. oh it's like you got that that hot breath on your face feeling and it's like yeah, if, like ugh. you can chew like you can literally chew the air yeah. so south carolina is the chewy heat and you're the dry heat dry you're in texas it's like when you preheat the oven and you open it up that's what it's like when that when it hits your face when you walk out the but front door further east and south you know san antonio dallas houston they are it's humid. humid yeah 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 it's definitely humid so here in south carolina in december we're in the 50s like and then january it's mostly 50s and then there's literally two weeks it's usually at the end of january or the beginning of february where it's really cold it goes down to like 30 <laughs> and, and at night it'll be like 20 but but here that's really 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 cold and like i don't even think our furnace is made for it like it's weird because i don't have like a gas furnace here we have ours is electric and it's like it almost is not made to handle that. So my heater, when it's that cold, it will just go and go and go and go and go and go. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, turn off. Well, it'll be cold here from pretty much Halloween, October 31st until March, April, yeah, April to say, May. I was going to say May, Easter. Yeah, yeah, Halloween to Easter. Yeah, yeah, May May of this year was kind of cool. Uh, we went up to the pipe show in in Chicago, and uh, it was in this, it was in the upper fifties to sixties still. The one that, uh, that I that's in May. The pipe show that I came to, what was that like two or three years ago? Three. Yeah. That when we were during the daytime, it was nice. I wore a jacket though. I mean, it was like oh yeah, sixty. No, it was in the sixties. But at nighttime, it it was still pretty dang cold. I didn't like it. So it doesn't really start like heating up summer wise until mid June. Oh, that's horrible. And then that goes until pretty much September, right after Labor Day, and then it all starts going downhill from there. So <laughs> I like how he said yeah. that. And then it all. So goes we we we've pretty there. much we've pretty much got six to seven months of cold weather. That's not right. No, well, I, we... I think. Yeah. In the winter time, you know, I, I I said our our average temperatures are fairly mild, but we do get the uh, the Arctic cold fronts, the mm -hmm. blast of cold air. Yeah. We do get those frequently in the winter time. So it does get when it when it gets cold, it gets really cold here, and it gets windy, and we and this should be the windy city, not just not <laughs> Chicago. We get lots of wind, and it it does it, it can get cold is cold and it gets cold here just like it gets cold in alaska just like it gets cold in montana or illinois we we all get our we get our share but the thing that's mm, just different, not for seven months right the yeah, thing that's different <laughs> in these southern <laughs> states though is if something hits like if it gets cold enough and there's precipitation of any kind my goodness everything goes to heck in a handbasket in the south. Well, yeah, we don't if have it the, snows we don't have the infrastructure. Or if ice or something, it's like people people laugh, you know, up north. They're like, <laughs> they've got an inch of snow and they're they're crashing their cars and da, da, da. and I'm like, dude, they have no plows, they have no salt, there's nothing. So there was a story I can remember a couple of years ago when we first moved here in Atlanta. They had an ice storm. People literally were trapped on the highway for. 24 hours in their cars because oh. they could not drive so churches and stuff opened up their their churches along the interstate and things like that and chick-fil-a gave food to people so that they could eat in their cars and stuff and just think if it's that cold eventually you're going to run out of gas too oh yeah so dude it was a an emergency i mean we just don't have the stuff in the south to take care of stuff like that so it's crazy yeah, we're we're the guys that up. Oh, it snowed fifteen inches. Let me hurry up and shovel out so I'm not late to work. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, that's not fun. I do not miss that at all. 
Not at we, all. We a few years. This is probably three to four years ago now. We got 20, 21 inches of snow within twenty four hours, pretty much. And uh, yeah, you you shovel out your driveway and hit the roads, and people are all over the place. You yeah. got to get to work. Got to yep. got to do what you got to do. So yeah, it happens. But hopefully. Uh, one of these days, I'll be able to pick everything up and get out of this weather into a little bit of a warmer climate. Well, well you're always We'll be welcome. waiting for you, Bob. Yeah, we'll be waiting. And, Goonie, you hear that? We all want to move to a warmer climate here. And uh, we're ready to be on uh, Coyote Country Radio on a full-time basis here. And uh, the contract will have to be sizable, but we, we're, we're excited. If you, guys are, <laughs> if you guys are listening to us on Coyote Country Radio, we want to thank you, first of all, for listening and if you didn't know we do this three days a week we're on mondays wednesdays and saturdays at 8 30 uh so if you are just sitting there and thinking i sure would love to be entertained by three jackalopes here we are we're ready to start talking to you on coyote country radio we want to thank goonie and all the people involved at coyote country radio for putting us on and uh last thing before we go derek tell everybody about gamefly yeah, GameFly. Well, y- 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 y'all covered it pretty well. I know. You know just tell service. them where to go. Tell them where to well, go. Well, yeah, go to go to gameflyoffer.com slash HWT. You know, the HWT stands for, hey, we're talking. Get your free month of video games or movies. Try out the service. If you like it, stick with it. But, you know, there's no risk. Just try it out. Yeah, it's free. If you like it. Yeah, do it. You're welcome. You're welcome, public. <laughs> Welcome that we've done this for you. Yeah, thank you, Gamefly. We really appreciate you sponsoring the show and being a part of this thing called Hey, We're Talking. So, hey, we are all finished up for this show, and we hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. <laughs>